Do you believe in destiny? Or are we just prisoners of a random universe of cruel coincidences and bad luck? Blaine wasn't supposed to be anything more than a good time. A laugh and a tumble with no strings attached and no small print. Like so many things in my life, it wasn't that simple. It never is. My goodness. One look at the state of my room and I can tell I had a hell of a good time last night. Well, the state of my room, the tangle of bed sheets, and the pounding headache. At least, I think I had a good time. I hope I had a good time. What I can remember of it was definitely a good time. I can't tell which is my favorite, honestly. Is it the one where she's spattering me in mud? Or the one where she's fleeing my father's wrath for eating his shoes? The latest movie genre, the recross boot over. Driving Dick Tracy. Nobody saw it when they realized it wasn't a porno. Oh, I am running so late. I've got to get moving. The scene of the crime. Definitely one of passion. No sign of manic depressive roommate Nuno. This is a mixed blessing, obviously. Somebody was in a hurry. Somebody being me, in this case. How did that get over there? No time to sit. I'm running late. It's not real wood, but it looks like it and it feels like it. And you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference, except that it starts to melt if left in direct sunlight. Nobody home! Partying is not allowed in dorm rooms. Nuno's property. Mostly it's porn, hidden in boxes he's labeled poetry and research notes and family albums. I'd never have figured it out if he hadn't blushed every time he saw me looking in that direction. I'll need my clothes. I'm late for Reitherman's class and he's handing out the final assignments today. I can get weepy with nostalgia later. <coughs> Ambar, good morning! Wait for me while I get sorted, okay? That's me, Alicia Von Volisch. The brilliant, beautiful troublemaker with the criminal record. I was going to be a cop, follow in the family footsteps. Joined the academy, was on the fast track for promotion, success, and then it all came crashing down. I opened my locker one day. This sphere rolls off the shelf and into my hand. It looked like it was made of gold. Before I had a chance to say anything, I was under arrest. I was being questioned. I was being accused of theft and treason. In hell, I think they threw in kicking the commissioner's pet cat. 
I was given a choice. I could fight to prove my innocence, or I could quit the Academy and never speak about it again. So I quit, and figured if I can't fight crime as a cop, I'll tell the truth as a journalist. Which meant going back to school. And that is why I'm late for class. Aren't you glad you asked? I'm a big girl. I can take myself to the bathroom when and if I need to, okay? It's been almost five years, and I still have so many questions. Where did the sphere come from? Why was it in my locker? What was it? And why did so many people panic when they found me with it? So many questions and still no answers. Maybe it's time I actually tried to let it all go. Gift from my last boyfriend, never worn. I would rock this dress, no question about it. I'd also risk dying of cold, and I'd need a club to keep away that particular brand of male who believes showing skin equates to easy. I wonder if I made the throw from the bed. Clearly I'm more accurate when I'm drunk. No time to sit. I'm running late. Good morning, Miss Van Volish. How are you today? I have the mother of all hangovers. I'm running late for class. I've somehow lost my roommate, and I'm having a dangerously difficult time trying to remember everything I did last night. And what I can remember involves a lot of alcohol and not very many clothes. But other than that, I'm doing great. Now, now, that's not the Alicia Van Volish I know. Or have heard of, at least. No, by hearing. Here known. That's not a word, is it? <laughs> Leopold University Residence Hall. Our future lies within. Much as I might like to run away from my problems, it's not really much of a solution at the moment. The sewage system sounds in perfect working order. Munzer from Block B. His hangovers are legendary. You don't wake him up. He's an unerringly accurate shot with whatever he grabs. Silvio from Block C. Or so the rumor goes. He's our resident hermit. Rumor is that his theoretical knowledge of the universe is inversely proportional knowledge of actually living in it. Block D. Empty. The former residents left it in such a state it's actually considered a biohazard. Don't think anyone's been inside for years. I I'm sorry, who are you? I'm horrible with the names of people I ignore. Oh, I'm Agent Bolize. I've been on this beat for, oh, five years now. I, uh... I've been saying hello to you every morning since you've moved in here, actually. Ah, yes, right, of course. Sorry, sorry, this hangover, it's just, you know, I, I wouldn't recognize my own mother the way I feel today. I don't suppose you could, uh, help me piece together what happened last night? As a member of the ARC's police force, my highly honed deductive skills are at the disposal of every citizen. We'll have to start with a few questions, naturally. Of course. So, you were at a nightclub last night? Correct. And it was very busy? Correct. And you were there? Correct. What were you wearing? You know, I'm not sure that's relevant. You've heard of me? Well, I was told you were the most promising cadet at the police academy. 
A genius, some said. In a sea of illiterates, the one who can read is queen. Yes. I'm kind of in a hurry. Okay, okay, no need to get worked up. You know what my mother would say? The next time you have a swingers party, I expect to be invited. I, uh, she... How did you know about that? I can't help noticing that you've got a bit of an attitude problem, Miss Van Bolish. Is this an issue with me, or is this with the police force in general? Oh, no, no. Don't take it personally, officer. I just hold you and all of your fellows in shattering contempt. How far you've fallen. Once you would have been one of us, but having turned to a life of crime... I understand, I really do. How can you look upon me with my badge, my uniform so proud and noble and not burn with jealousy? Of course, I forgive you. Okay, first, what happened was not my fault. Second, I am not jealous of you, you overstuffed, overweight, overglorified doorman. I'll leave you to your duties. Bye. Ah, my favorite haunt. Too fast, too foodious. The food will take a year off your life with each serving, but you can't beat the company. Too fast, too foodious. Run by one of my only friends, the rather impressive Frankie. This is his bar. The decor and the tunes rain nostalgia, but the smell coming from the kitchen of burgers on the grill will snap you cruelly back into the present. Nuno? Nuno! You have any idea why my roommate is asleep at your counter? I and Liver here? I understand that as you had company in your shared apartment of an uh, intimate nature, he decided to camp out here till the all clear came. He had a glass of juice, a shot of vodka, and passed out. Iron liver sounds more like glass liver. That's Nuno. No liver, but all heart. But Nuno met this guy I was with? I've got to ask him some questions. Frankie, how can I wake him up? In his state, you'll need the Corpse Reviver. The Corpse Reviver? The Corpse Reviver can rouse the almost dead, Alicia. A unique blend of ingredients that counteracts the effects of alcohol in even the most desperate cases. You get me the right ingredients, I can mix it up for you. What are the ingredients? You need something that'll warm him up. Something that'll wake him up. Something that purifies him. Something that'll give him goosebumps. He hadn't had a drink before he stopped in here? You're kidding. He's such a lightweight, he'd fall over if you breathed on him. Okay, got it. We'll talk about him later. The Blobfish Band, the best covers of the worst earworms on the Ark. Beer, creating romance since 1862. You haven't seen my handbag or bracelet, have you? The handbag I could care less about, but that bracelet's a family heirloom. I'd hate to lose it. Can't say that I have. You should check the lost and found at the university. I brought a few things over there this morning. Your stuff might have been among them. The Corpse Reviver? The Corpse Reviver can rouse the almost dead, Alicia. A unique blend of ingredients that counteracts the effects of alcohol in even the most desperate cases. You get me the right ingredients, I can mix it up for you. What do you mean by something that gives him goosebumps? Think of something that would taste indescribably disgusting. Purifies him? What does that mean? You know, something that will remove toxins and other damaging substances. Use your imagination. What do you mean by something that warms him up? Oh, it doesn't have to be hot in and of itself. Just something that heats them up from within, if you know what I mean. 
How can I wake him up? That's an oblique clue. You're the investigator. Investigate! Okay, got it. Tabasco! The condiment for everything! I love this stuff. Somebody went through your stock last night. Yeah, somebody named Alicia Van Volish. Somebody went through your stock last night. Yeah, somebody named Alicia Van Volish. No, that won't work. Doesn't sound very reasonable. It's not real wood, but it looks like it and it feels like it. And you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference, except that it starts to melt if left in direct sunlight. Edward Leopold, celebrity, honored citizen, and model for every professor at the university. There's a reason he's got a statue and a school named after him. Closed. A video call unit with a broken camera could be useful. Hey, what are you doing bringing your pet in here? Since when can't I bring my pet in here? Who says I was talking to you? <laughs> In your local shop, you can find this disgusting, unhealthy, fruity drink from our competitors, or... Skunk! The 72 beneficial vitamins found in nature with a bubbling, fruity flavor. Skunk. Don't fight. There's enough for everybody. A petition to evict our neighbor from Block B. Three concussions are enough. Signed, Enzo. Seeking roommate unafraid of rats. Big rats. Really big damn rats. Rats as big as dogs. P.S. Rats in question are filthy but friendly. Signed, Bastion. Single male looking for nurse to play doctor. Non-invasive procedures preferred. Signed, Richard. I hate people. Looking to swap industrial coffee machine for skunk vending machine. Auto. Loaded with all three types of skunk cola and listed by addiction strength. How very thoughtful. Super Skunk. The Cleanser. Clean your pipes and clear your arteries and murder germs dead, now without the corrosive aftertaste. Loaded with all three types of skunk cola and listed by addiction strength. How very thoughtful. Skunk Unancy. With the sweet citrus flavor you've come to expect, twice the nutrients and half the calories, all at the same appalling price.
loaded with all three types of skunk cola and listed by addiction strength. How very thoughtful. Skunk Cola, the original, with the advertising slogan, Don't fight! There's enough for everybody! Caffeinated or ultra-caffeinated. Clearly they knew their target audience. I'm running late. Do you know where I can find Professor Reitherman? I need to get my assignment for the final. He's in his office. Up the stairs, corridor on your left. Thank you, Mr. Walrus. I'm late. I can't stop to talk to Mr. Walrus right now. Out of order and never to be fixed. Professor Reitherman somehow managed to convince the university that it would reduce obesity rates if everyone had to use the stairs. Even disabled students. Years of research, advancement, and technical know-how all come together in this high-tech package of sensors, mobility, and manipulation. And what does the university do with it? They use the robot to clean the halls. Idiots. Out of order and never to be fixed, Professor Reitherman somehow managed to convince the university that it would reduce obesity rates. This used to be at the top of the stairs. Professor Reitherman had it moved closer to his office because, and I quote, it should be near the most important person on this floor. Hmm, Reitherman's phone number. I could have some fun with that. Oh, hell. Miss Van Volish, you're late. I'm sorry. I got here as soon as I could. It's just a couple of minutes. <laughs> just a couple of minutes. Well, unfortunately, every second counts. I've already given out all of the topics for the final articles. I'm afraid there's nothing left. What? But if you don't give me a topic, I can't do the assignment and you'll fail me. You've got a pile of articles left. Any of them will do as a topic. <laughs> Yes, I do, but that is not the point. You were late, Miss Van Volish. If I make an exception for you, how will that look to your classmates? You had your chance like everyone else. I'm the best student in the program. You know it, and I know it. I've got recommendations and compliments on my work from everyone but you. Everyone knows my reporting is outstanding. Everyone knows I'm a better reporter than you ever were. How is it going to look when I fail because you didn't cut me two minutes of slack? Yes, you are a brilliant natural talent. You're also a spoiled, arrogant, selfish little brat and a convicted criminal. I will not allow you to soil the profession that I love. I've been waiting for a chance to get rid of you, and you've just given it to me, Alicia. Your deadline is tonight, and you must turn in your piece on one of the approved topics by then. Something you will not be able to do, as you have no means of acquiring one of the topics among those approved by the headship this year. So, good luck. <laughs> okay, maybe saying that everyone knows I'm a better reporter than he is was pushing it. But, one, it's true, and two, he's an asshole. So, yes, maybe I shouldn't have treated him with the contempt that he so clearly deserved all these years. But that doesn't make what he's doing right. He's got me cornered. And if I don't want him to get away with this, I need one of those approved topics for the assignment. This 
This used to be at the top of the stairs. Perfect. There's no class in session. If I'm going to waste time, I can think of better places to do it. Hello? What have you got in that thermos? Coffee. Just coffee. Rough job? You wouldn't believe it. I'm so busy, I never have a moment for myself to just sit and relax. Could you check the lost and found for a bracelet and a purse? One second. I have a purse, but no bracelet. Guess you need to learn to drink in moderation, hmm? Why am I carrying a brick in my bag? Doesn't sound very reasonable. Hello? Rough job? You wouldn't believe it. I'm so busy, I never have a moment for myself to just sit and relax. See you, William. Not a good idea. No, thanks. No, I shouldn't do that. Years of research ad Not a good idea. Somebody went through your stock last night. Yeah. Seriously? Don't you think that stuff tastes weird? No, thank you. I can feel it destroying my stomach lining already. I'll pass. Something hot coming up. Excellent. Bring me the rest of the ingredients, and I'll mix that corpse reviver right up. I can feel it destroying my stomach lining already. I'll pass. I'll leave you to your duties. Bye.
It's not real wood, but it looks like it, and it's Nuno's property. Mostly, it's porn. I'm already dressed. Gift from my last... Somebody was in a hurry. Somebody being me, in this case. How did that get over there? The sewage system. Oh, no, no, that's the watered down version. No, thank you. It's like glue. You get it on your clothes and it never comes out. Are you mad? Super skunk is too strong even for a skunk veteran like myself. You can't drink that stuff. Great for removing rust paint and stubborn stains, though. Do you want a sip of... Skunk cola! Oh, that stuff is the best! I have it with my breakfast as a morning snack, with lunch, at tea time, at dinner, before bed. That is the best stuff ever! Packed full of all the nutrients a stalwart protector of the law needs to keep going and get the job done! And it's entirely stimulant free. Okay, no cola for you. Doesn't sound very reasonable. No, that won't work. No, that won't work. Closed. No, I shouldn't do that. Doesn't sound very reasonable. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Caffeinated or ultra caffeinated. Clearly, they knew their target audience. Walrus, what the hell happened to the coffee machine? If you ask me, I'd say one of the students smashed it with a brick, Professor. Unbelievable. Huh. Yep, it's busted, and now spilling coffee all over the place. Doesn't sound very reasonable. No, I shouldn't do that. Not a good idea. Locked. Of course he locks the door when he leaves. Damn it.
this used to be at the top of the stairs. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Hello? No, I shouldn't do that. Doesn't sound very reasonable. Not a good idea. No, I shouldn't do that. I am never going to drink again this ha- Alicia, you were so drunk last night. I even got a hangover. What can I do for you? A beer and a fast and foodious. Full or with the works? They're the same damn thing, Frankie. They are not. Full comes with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion. You get it with the wax. You get everything I've got in the kitchen on it. I mean everything. Give me the works. I am never going to drink again. This hangover. A, a beer. Full. I'll leave you to your duties. Bye. Doesn't sound very reasonable. Not a good idea. <laughs> 